Okay, let's explore how Mach 5.3 handles modulations. We have an analog oscillator, and it's just a, um, a square wave. And one of the nice things that you want to do with a square wave is uh, change the pulse width. So we can do that manually with the pulse width modulation knob. But the idea is to use a modulator to wiggle this for us. And you'll notice that the appearance of this knob is a little bit different. It, it glows when it's selected. So once this is selected, we can go down here to modulation, click the little plus button, and we get a, a variety of modulation sources that we can select from. And I want an LFO, and so I'm gonna have one associated with this key group. So, and I want it to be unique to this particular modulation. I just want a free LFO as if I'm patching a modular. So I'm gonna say new LFO, and this produces an LFO and automatically routes it to pulse width modulation. So if I play this, you'll hear what it sounds like. Okay, so that's a little intense for me, but this knob down here governs the intensity of the modulation. So I'm going to, I'm going to change this and listen to uh, the sound as I do so. Okay, that's about the intensity I want, but the LFO is kind of, the frequency is a little um, fast for my taste for this type of pulse width modulation. So I'm going to slow that down. So that's a nice thick pulse width modulation from just a single oscillator. And that's how you create a very simple modulation source and destination in Mach 5.3.